Hello everyone, welcome to the YouTube channel of Lightway Research and Technology Center. I hope you all are doing great. In this video, I will show you how to perform Ramsey Regression Equation Specification Error Test in EViews. This particular test is uh, popularly known as Ramsey Reset Test. Before I show you how to do it in EViews, I will quickly take you through the definition of this particular test. Why do we need to conduct Ramsey Reset Test? As we, and also, I will take you through the hypothesis and the decision rule. Ramsey Reset Test is a useful diagnosis tool in econometrics. In fact, it's one of the key assumptions. This particular test ensures that uh, a regression model is appropriately specified and of course it enables researchers to avoid bias and inconsistent estimate that could occur as a result of model misspecification. Specifically, so this test check whether a nonlinear combination of the filtered values explain the dependent variable better. If it happens that the nonlinear combination of the featured value explains the dependent variable better, it means that the model is what is misspecified. And in that case, it could mean that a variable is mixing or the functional form of the model is incorrect. So by detecting the functional form misspecification as well as the omitted variable, it helps to improve the model accuracy and reliability. And this, of course, enables researchers to provide better recommendation. So why do we need to perform this test? The first point is that it enables researchers or scholars to detect functional form mis misspecification. For instance, if you specified a, a linear model and you notice after the test that this particular linear model is not suitable for the analysis then it means that you may need to square a variable add a variable or log the dependence and independent variable another point is that it enables to identify omitted variable which is very clear for instance, if you start your estimation with two independent variables and you conduct this particular test and you notice that there is an error, in other words, the test shows that the model is not well specified, you may need to add one more variable to make it more, to make it three independent variables. Another point is that this particular test is one of the key assumptions of the OLS regression. In, in other words, it's one of the model diagnostic tests that must be performed on any linear regression model. And the last one which I have here is that it enables researchers to avoid overfitting and underfitting. What do I mean by overfitting? This uh, model and uh, uh, this test ensures that the model is not capturing noise as if it were a true relationship and for underfitting it ensures that the model is not mixing out on capturing essential relationship in the data so that those are the reason why of course there are some other reasons which you can google online but these are the key reasons we need to perform ramsey research test now let us take a look at the non hypothesis the alternate hypothesis as well as the decision rule of this particular test the non hypothesis state that all the coefficients are equal to zero that is the model is what is linear why the alternate hypothesis states that the model is not linear and the decision rule is very simple and straightforward reject the non hypothesis which state that the model is linear if the probability value of the F statistics is less than 5% and conclude that the model is what is non linear. Otherwise, first to reject the non hypothesis and conclude that the model is linear. So, the, what you just need to look at when you have the results 
is the probability value of the F statistics. If it is greater than 5%, it means that the model is what is linear. But if it is less than 5%, that shows that the model is not linear. So now let me take you through how to perform this test in eViews. Here I have my variable. GDP is the dependent variable here. Inflation as well as oil price, those two are the independent variable. I have another independent variable here, which is population. So I'm going to be using three independent variables, uh, yeah, three independent variables and one dependent variable. That means I will only check for one model. So the dependent variable again is GDP. The independent variables are inflation, oil price, and population. In case you don't know how to launch eViews or how to upload data into eView, please check through our channels. We have videos on how to perform those operations. Now, the first thing you need to take note when you want to estimate an ordinary regression model is that you must click on the dependent variable first if you want to make use of this method. You click on the dependent variable first, then you follow by then the dependent variable followed by what? The independent variable. The first independent variable is inflation, the second is oil price, and the third is population. Next is to right click. Once you right click, you open as equation. Click on open as equation and you have it here. There's it. But if you don't want to follow this approach which i always reverse to as shortcuts you can go to quick move down to estimate equation then you have the same box what's next is to enter the dependent variable followed by the independent variables and intercept or dependent variable intercept or constant which is c followed by the independent variables so let's do it gdp is our dependent variable C is the intercept which is constant. Inflation is the first independent variable. Oil price is the second independent variable. The point here is that you must enter the name correctly. If you did not enter the name correctly, you will have issues. The third variable is population. You can see the dependent variable first. Followed by the followed by constants, followed by the independent variable, followed by oil price, followed by the third independent variable. Next is to click OK, then you have your OLS results. To obtain your Ramsey reset uh, test results, you now go, go to view, you click on view. Once you click on view, you go to stability. Diagnostics, stability diagnostics. Once you click on, uh, once you select stability diagnosis, you will see Ramsey reset test. You have it here, Ramsey reset test. Next is to us click on it. Then you have this window, number of fitted times. Please maintain the default, which is one. Next is to click on this, uh, OK. You click on OK. What you now I have before me is the results of Ramsey reset test. Don't forget the decision rule is that you should reject the known hypothesis which state that the model is linear. If the probability of the F statistics and what is the probability of the F statistics here? You can see F statistics, the probability is 0 0.77, which is what? Greater than five percent so since the probability value of f statistics is greater than five percent we can conclude that the model is linear in other words we cannot reject the known hypothesis so this is how to perform ramsey reset test in eview so with this we have come to the end of this particular video tutorial please if you are just coming across 
our YouTube channel for the first time, kindly click on the subscribe button below to be part of this great community. Also, put on your notification bell so that you can be notified when we release new videos. And to all our existing viewers, existing subscribers, we say a big thank you to you. Please continue to share our video, continue to like, and also comment. And of course, if there's certain test you want us to explain, kindly indicate in the comment section. Thank you.